when Ben was two because then I realised Ben really wasn't speaking but it was when I saw the averages that I realised Ben, not compared to just his sisters but compared to all children, is not really where you'd expect. So we had health visits involved which then led to speech therapy which then led to SEN support in school um, and eventually to his autism diagnosis. When you look at him, you know, people say that, oh, well, he don't look autistic. He doesn't, you know, he looks like a regular happy boy, but he has so many issues and it's heartbreaking um, when he can't get his views across. When we found out he was autistic, I just thought, how, how is he going to, how is he going to live like a normal life? It's challenging being Ben's mum because I've never known if the things I was buying him were things he'd like or if it was the right colour or if he could even get any joy out of it. So he came to Pinders and right from day one he has been happy and if we have concerns, they're right there like, okay, tell us your concerns, what, what do you need, what does Ben need? And this school has made it the easiest it could possibly be. They have given him his own space um, by creating an actual sensory space, which is amazing because like, I, I have worked in education the last four years and I don't know any school that would do that. That sensory room is magical because it's everything that he likes. He likes lights, he likes making it dark as well. He loves, oh, he's obsessed with water. For him to feel that comfortable in a school environment and that to a mainstream environment is yeah. amazing. <laughs> They've never said no to anything Ben needs. I feel like they really genuinely care for Ben's development and that is why Ben is developing. For Ben to be able to say any words from where he was when he came here, that's huge because I thought he'd only ever like say numbers. I didn't know he would ever know that his sisters were his sisters. He absolutely loves it here and I do feel like it's the work of the staff, especially the support system that he has, who are like including him in things. He goes with everybody else. He plays outside with everybody else. It's amazing now. He is more or less one of the other kids at the school despite his issues, which is amazing. <laughs> he's become this lovely little boy and he's come out of his shell even. And I would never have had that if the school wasn't doing whatever there is to doing, whatever magic it is that they're doing. I just think Ben is as valid as any other child with or without autism. That's just, that's just an extra part of him. Yeah.